Hey, 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 welcome back to Cryptos to invest in a new video that we're going to talk about crypto and we're going to talk also about Bitcoin today, only Bitcoin. If you are subscribers to Bitcoin, so we're going to see some quick updates and this video will be short. And uh, let's just stop the music in the background. If you want to listen to this record or to this music, it's here. I'm going to show it to you. So it's really nice. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to get copyright for it or not, but it doesn't matter though. Um, so quick update about Bitcoin. Um, as I highlighted on the shorts right here, let me just show it to you. I said there is a big short is coming on the way before even it happens but it's still there in here before even it moved but we're gonna see why is it actually did move um so let's get into the main chart because this this is, is not the main chart but i'm gonna send it to here just to come it come back to it later let's go to the main chart which is in here and this is the main chart so what we are seeing in here is the following so let's a big wick this is a big candle wick right here um, let me change it to the 15 minute um, so this is the 15 minute and since we 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 just like did this fiasco of like uh losing the 22 um 23 300 400 we also gotten into a worse scenario which dumped us to 21 900 since then we never tested this area or this level um then we entered into a correction channel normally correction channel is like this or normally um this is you're gonna see in a lot of um maybe you're gonna encounter it in a lot of charts so let me just change to weekly to have some room to um explain to you what we're talking about um so normally when a currency drops this huge it does go like this correct correct and there is a trend line and then all of a sudden continues do the same again and all of a sudden goes down and it's it's in a positive way when a market goes up so the currency goes up correct and then goes up again correct goes up again so it's the same thing in the reverse way when the market is go, going down so the same thing here i saw on bitcoin that's why i decided to short a lot of currencies and you can see uh, you're going to see them later but just stick to the end um so why is it just pumped and dumped so quickly you know that the bitcoin it does um react um on the on the on the us dollar price so as you saw here yesterday the dollar was really like um struggling so you know it was in this area in uh, 103 points and all of a sudden it broke this downtrend line that i had there before let me um so i had a trend line like this and then it broke it right here so as soon as it broke it bitcoin starts to um to dump if i change it here to the hourly you're gonna see this huge um candle in one hour um that the dollar did because there's the earnings coming right now um and there's a new report about the employment also coming and there is a little bit of push to the dollar to move a little bit to the upside after it was on 105 they dumped again to 103 right now it's trying to reclaim the the, the top that it was two days before or three days before um that's one reason why bitcoin also um dumped so immediately if i changed here to the hourly you're gonna see that the same um hourly that you see the candle in the hourly so it's the same that the dollar did to the upside bitcoin did it to the downside and we know this so it entered this correction channel and i said to myself this painting i had here this painting right here so it didn't actually manage to go above it because if it did go above it then we will test 
for another time right here and if we did manage actually to test this area there's a high chance that we're going to cross it and go to 22800 all right because that's that will be the second the third time that we're testing it so by each retest there's a high possibility that the resistance will crop will get broken so or by each test in continuous testing for a certain level it becomes like weaker and weaker and weaker by each test so that's the analogy behind um what i'm saying in here but it really did fail to even correct above the 25 for the second time and it didn't even touch this pentin right here i had i had here highlighted let me take it just out because here it was actually uh two trend lines that i did in there here before because i'm counting so the most of the time bitcoin what what it does when it goes in a channel it does like do the step he does the first uh foot on the top or on the bottom of this channel the second foot that he does or prints it pumps up so that's this is the first he did this is the second and the third he decided to pump this is again the f the, the first and this is the second i was expecting it to pump but the pump failed it was really fake pump then i said to myself okay let's just watch up this big when if it holds into inside the channel if it's really like um did manage to go back to retest the the top of this channel which will be on 22 200 but it didn't even manage to go across above this um separated line right here or this this uh, horizontal um line dashed line then i was thinking yeah that's this is not looking any good and i looked up into the chart of uh, dxy which is the, the us dollar and i see that it's trying to break up or to break out of this um this channel the descending channel that he had for a couple a week ago then i decided to short the market that's all what it is and if we go to the old um if we go to the old chart so actually what we expect in right now bitcoin has tested or had it did a new low because the first low it did is on 21900 here on the what, what when was that was on the 3rd march today he did a new low about um 29 about a couple dollars but uh, we still keep con i consider it as a new low um so when it does that give it just a couple more days one to two days and it will continue dumping down so this the first eye to watch or this the first level to watch up for is this 21 400 21 300 and if we manage to stop there so we will go back to retest the 22 400 if we didn't manage even to cross this level right here 21 900 21 700 because the pre previous resistance becomes a support after we flip it and it is our, again at the opposite way the previous support becomes a resistance if you flip it to the downside um, so if we manage to cross it that's good if not the second one or the the next uh, chapter to go to is actually 2300 which is this big rectangle that i have here which is the last like level of defense for the bulls to stay in check um that's one the the thing the other thing that i want to highlight let's go to the other chart that i just put before we started in here um i think that wasn't it was this one so since we reached 25500 bitcoin started going into a descending channel all right so this one you see but since then he was respecting this channel very respectively so you see he touched it on the top it touched it again on the top here and it was expecting it actually to touch it again in the top and see if he managed to cross it like uh, the way it did here the dollar if he managed to to like break it and then from there i'm gonna long but it didn't even cross the 22600 to the and on the, the downside of this channel on the bottom of it 
it has actually also respected it like two to three times here one second and the third right here so this is one but in other side you can see this as a head and shoulder let's take this off and let's clean the chart a bit you can see also see this chart as a head on the shoulder and head on the shoulder actually doesn't come all the time as it is like this one right here so this is the typical head on the shoulder you see here this is very very typical in um in the market so if you see this it's really obvious that the market will keep going down so here and here it you will see that we have we can have some support right here as soon as we cross it we go down so that's how it looks all the, the most of the time but it doesn't came all the time in this shape or in this position it may be come lifted or righted a bit like curved in somehow i will um like draw it to you sometimes it came like this all right so this is a head and shoulder this is a consider that a head and shoulder. So sometimes it comes even like more worse, like the same thing, almost, almost. So this is how it is. So it came down. Um, but the obvious one we have is where it goes like this, right? That's how it is. So um, that's one. And the same thing that Bitcoin did, I will also show it to you and draw it here that um in order for it to be clear for you so actually in the terms of Elliott waves Elliott wave you can find them here go to Elliott wave or Im Elliott impulse wave so um this is one here this is two this is three this is four this is five so we finished actually the three Elliott waves um, um and then let's take here so we can even do abc um which is will be here so this is a this is b and this is c so now this is more than c this is the other one okay let's take the abc because it's really important to have that one abc this is it so here let's call this a b c if you manage to break the c then it's really a short to the downside how this is how let's take this to four hours let's take even this out and out take this out so this is it how so you take a what you called extended line you draw it from here and you draw it to this all right so this is how it should be it's also testing the same area which is good so if this is this is the head and shoulders that we've been speaking about which is a kind curved and lifted away um so this could become this could become a head and a shoulder like this all right so that's one so soon as you break into the abc which is was here a b c soon as you break this line you and wait until it goes under it touch it which is 22 800 22 almost 23 and then short it to the downside so that's another way to look at it from the chart um, so i see that bitcoin still keep going down and it will go to touch actually this previous law low that we have uh, in here so we have to go to here to touch it and retest that area and maybe even go to deeper than that if the, the dollar strengthen against the bitcoin so that will be a worst case scenario going also to 2320 two okay so 22 2200 2300 almost 20 and see if that resistance gonna hold or not because that's a historical price so we have a lot of history with that with that 20 20k as well as 18k so uh that's pretty much it um for today and that should be also um 
a short quick video about the price update oh i forget to show you the shorts so here are the shorts that i did and i'm still shorting them i didn't get out of any position you see here so i'm still shorting things i'm still looking for some huge uh, currencies that do some good corrections in order for me to enter into it and bid in on on the short um so i don't look for longs at this moment i only look for shorts so that's pretty much for this video. I hope you like this content. And if you do so, please head up and subscribe. If you already subscribed, you'll come back for our next video. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please hit them in the comment box below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Have a great day and thank you for being here to the next one.